high places, low places. Let's continue to explore how we represent elevations. Here's a table that shows the elevation for several different cities. Pause the video now and try to explain in your own words what the numbers mean. You can use the sentence frames to help you. Let's talk about elevation. The term elevation is commonly used to describe the height of a place, such as a city, or of an object, such as an aircraft, when compared to sea level. Zero indicates sea level. A positive number indicates an elevation in feet above sea level, and a negative number indicates an, an elevation in feet below sea level. Let's look at an example. The elevation of several places on Earth are given on the table below. Remember, a zero indicates sea level, a positive number indicates an elevation in feet above sea level, and a negative number indicates an elevation in feet below sea level. It's a good idea to create a vertical number line and plot elevations before you start to compare them. So look at our number line. Which location has the highest elevation? Did you say San Antonio, Texas? It has an elevation of 650 feet above sea level. We can see it here. It's the highest on our vertical number line. Which location has the lowest elevation? Did you say the Sea of Galilee in Israel? We can see in the table that it's got a negative symbol. So it is 695 feet below sea level. Which location has the second lowest elevation? Look at your number line. We can see that Lake Enriquillo in the Dominican Republic is, a, is the second lowest in elevation. Now, how could we describe New York City in relation to sea level? Looking at our table, we can see that it's 33 feet above sea level. How could we describe a Lake Enriquillo in the Dominican Republic in relation to sea level? Look at our table. It is 151 feet below sea level. And you can see it here on the number line. It's below sea level. Now, let's go back to the table that was given to us at the beginning of this lesson. Remember, it's a really good idea to create a vertical number line and plot elevations before you start to compare them. Let's create the number line now, and then you can use the vertical number line to answer the questions for this assignment, okay? So first we have Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, 320 feet. It's positive, so it would be above sea level. Bethel, Indiana is 1,211 feet, positive again. That would be above sea level. Next up, we have the Mile High City, Denver, Colorado, at 5,280 feet above sea level. Coachella, California, negative 22 feet. That negative symbol tells me it's going to be below sea level. Death Valley, California is at negative 282 feet below sea level. So it's going to be below Coachella. Next up is New York City, New York, 33 feet above sea level. And then lastly, Miami, Florida is at zero feet. So it is right at sea level. Make sure you copy this down and it will help you answer the questions below. 